Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Ethiopia. You are up in your house for. I'm your host, Galvin, and uh, not much has happened. It's been a little while, but uh, you know, just a small time skip. We went to war with the Oyo, quickly uh, grabbed a couple provinces, which put us immediately neighboring Castile, who is apparently a noble republic now, and also probably pretty pissed at us for for pretty legitimate reasons, I'd assume. Um, we've also spent our remaining points on various buildings, core, and even culture conversions when I ran out of crap to build. Um, and I think we're just about ready. We can actually now westernize. We finally meet all the requirements. We will reduce our stability to negative three, and uh, it's going to make things a little interesting. Uh, I, we have a administrative three skill advisor, so I'm hoping, you know... Five, five, five points a month should be okay. We have, you know, pretty much, de pretty much 100% religious unity. Uh, so our our cost to boost ability should be like 90. So it, it shouldn't be too bad. We should be able to get out of uh, out of that pretty quickly. So let us begin the great westernization of Ethiopia. It's a little late in the game for it, I know, but it, it happens. You just kind of have to do it sometimes. Western influence is plus 200%, really? How long does that last for? Uh... Lovely. Well, we'll hold on. Alright. We've got a fair... Yeah, we're, we're actually going to be losing a bit of money. That's okay, though. I'm not too worried. Conquest of Mecca's happened to us. That's always good. Yeah, they're going against the Maya. Or Maya. That's fine. <laughs> Maya, I don't know where I, why I said that. Um, total expenses. Yeah, we're okay. We're okay for the moment. Like I said, the, uh, key, the key thing here is just going to be getting our stability up as quickly as we can. We need to westernize. There's no other way to fight the Mamluks. And since I believe we're at truce with them right now... Oh no, we actually aren't. That's uh, disconcerting to say the least. Ottomans and Venice are going to war. No surprise there. Uh, well, hopefully if the Mamluks come a knock in, then uh, Russia's got our back again. Otherwise, we're probably in trouble. Uh, but I think we'll be okay. Man, our, our legitimacy is falling fast. 2.02 every year. There's no way to really stop that, is there? Damn. Okay, um... Yeah, we're, we're not getting anywhere there. Damn, peasants resisting westernization. That's fine. I don't really care much for diplomatic power. If that was admin power, I'd be all over that, but... You know. Don't really need it. The important thing is now 450, 450, 450. It's basically going to cost us nothing to uh, get technology up. Thanks to the neighbor bonuses. Um, three field rotation, good. Okay, now the culture we desire. I've got, like I said, a couple uh, culture conversions and stuff going through. And just general stuff that I decided to uh, spend my points on, because it really was one of those either you spend it or you lose it things, because it automatically sets your uh, all your monarch power to negative 100. Excellent viceroys. If only I had overseas provinces, it might matter. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm kind of hoping that Russia's got our back still though. <laughs> do I really? Why does it inform me about shifts of power in the Curia? I'm not Catholic. Why do I care? You know? I don't know. Whatever. It's just seems kind of kind of pointless. Okay. So yeah, we're well on our way. We haven't even had a single revolt yet. Um, and that's kind of because I kind of did a little math, I suppose, beforehand. And I believe we go and have a look at the revolt risk map mode. You'll note that pretty much all the Empire is still not quite willing to revolt. We, uh, we are going to find that's going to change soon. 
Uh, in fact, you'll notice we actually don't have any revolt risk at all right now, which is now hilarious. Despite being a negative three stability, we have no revolt risk for the time being. Well, we did get a uh, event-based reactionary rebellion, but that doesn't really count. So uh, there w there will be revolt risk soon, though. It's because our legitimacy is dropping. I need to try and get this ability up as quickly as we can to counteract that. Everything else is more or less secondary. Uh... Okay. Cool. Another culture change. Like I said, but the good the good news though is you know still no revolt risk. It's it's great. And I have too many diplomatic relations. Who do I have diplomatic relations with? Russia, Byzantium. Oh yeah, right. And three vassals. So that would put me five, just slightly over the limit. We'll be okay with that. Speaking of which, I believe I can actually start annexing Oman by now, can't I? Uh, yeah, okay, so I, I, I just need to start improving my relations with them. I believe I have three diplomats somewhere. There we go, yeah. Yeah, I got three diplomats. Don't really have anything to spend them on right now. Uh, very good. Culture conversions are going along just fine. I, I'm just glad I haven't been invaded by Spain yet. Uh, I don't know if they can now, though. I mean, I'm Orthodox. And I'm Western, so I don't actually think they, they have any cost as bell eyes on me. Except for maybe colonialism. Because I'm probably taking considered colonial power. No, actually, I wouldn't be. He's not board If he was boarding my Arabian stuff, maybe. That might be considered a colony. But uh, because my capital's in Africa... Uh, that stuff isn't considered a colony for me, which means no colonialism. Perfect. Huh? Merchants resist westernization. Eh, whatever. And gain some power. It's always good. So, yeah. We're hopefully going to be able to, uh, you know, get this. 290. Oh, God. So, one of our merchants left Ceylon. Uh, Royal marriage offer from Russia, of course. Our merchant returns home in four days. So, go collect some trade. Uh, and since our second merchant's free, where's Indus? Indus, Indus. Oh, wait, why? I should not be. Shit. I should be transferring trade power, not collecting. But, alright, we'll, we'll transfer it forward. Uh, well, just some different. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm also streaming this, and the chat's talking about uh, whether westernization is worth it. And uh, I'm going to say this now westernization, in my eyes, uh, is almost always worth it. Even if you're in the, uh, you know, uh, Eastern tech group. Especially is Russia, because you get the uh, event to change St. Petersburg into your capital, or the decision, which raises your stability by three right off the bat and makes westernization actually pretty easy. Um, and westernization is actually going pretty easy for me here, which is interesting. I have to admit I was not expecting that. It's not quite this easy anyway. So far, so good. We're, we're hoping for the best here. And uh, we'll return to collect more trade. Yeah, we're losing a ton of cash here. Advisor maintenance is huge. Wait, wait, wait. There's transfer trade power. I do not want to collect from trade. I want to transfer the trade power to my capital node. Where I pretty much collect everything. Mwahaha. And it's the Russian conquest of Kazan against the Timurids. Kazan, Gorkhan, well, this is the war they have started. Timurids are allied with Kazan. That is acceptable, I suppose. Hmm. So yeah, well, we should hopefully be able to get out of this pretty quick. 
Um, especially... Where's my fleet? Where's my fleet? Oh, my fleet just happens to be right here. Perfect. Sorry. We're just going to nuke the... Uh, wow, lose 30 legitimacy. Oh shit, that's going to uh, start accelerating problems. It was slightly unexpected. All right, so that actually will probably for, for get us a white peace deal, right? Really? I I was kind of I have to admit I was kind of expecting you know white peace pretty much right there. Uh. Blockade, yeah. It seems to be all from various battles that have happened in the north. I guess this will be over pretty quick. Huh. Alright, uh, revolts possible. Yeah, we're starting to get revolts possible. I wasn't expecting an event to cause me to lose 30 legitimacy. Uh... Well, that was a blitz war, wasn't it? Um, in the meantime, no, don't, just protect trade. Protect trade in Ceylon, go. Since we have a Maldives port there, we have no problem with that. You know, I don't really need you either. Uh, unless there's somebody who gives me like, trade income or something, I don't really need you. It, just inflation reduction and a lot of admin points is good enough. I don't really want to waste too much money here. In the meantime, boostability. There. That's minus two revolt risk and going to slow down the rate that our legitimacy deteriorates. Assuming we don't get another nasty event, we'll probably be okay. We also don't have to wait as long, because this time we started around zero as opposed to starting at, what was it, negative 100? If we're going to repair like that, you might as well just go over here and kind of trample these guys. Would you? Be a darling. They're causing me more problems than uh, they're worth, so let's take them out. Problem solved. What? They broke their alliance with me. Minus four. Russian opinion about Ethiopia. I should trust Ethiopia. Damn, that's kind of a problem. Uh, let's start improving relations then. Okay. Check trade, Ceylon, go. That could be a problem. It really could be. Uh, I kind of need Russia. Russia's, you know, my trump card against the Mamluks. If they decide to come at me now, I'm cooked. I don't have anywhere near enough money to buy them out either. Mostly from because of advisor maintenance, but uh, and whatever the hell I do, I'm not losing stability. That's for certain. All right. Okay. Everything else, otherwise, seems okay for the moment. We're holding here in terms of legitimacy for now. It's much slower. Uh, out of curiosity, what's my air? My air is worse than me. But he's an excellent diplomat, so there's something, I suppose. Alright. Um So we're closing in. It shouldn't be too hard to get our uh, relations up enough to get an alliance here. I'm thinking. The distance between borders is kind of a problem, but we're, we're working on that. Uh, and how's, how's our relations with Oman coming along here? 114, good. Uh, we should have no problem being able to annex these guys soon. Okay. Still another. Yeah, we got another little while before. Uh, Westernite. Well, Westernization is. I don't even think it's going to become a problem at all. Like, a lot of people say, you know, talk about how hard Westernization is. I haven't found that. Westernization for me has been really easy. 
I mean, it's I'm not really going to go out massively doing offensive wars or anything, but, uh, you know, it's not the hell that people make it out to be. Far from it, in fact. So long as you're well prepared. Um... Right. Damn, that's far from my armies. All right. Uh, you can just go get them. But, like I said, I mean, short of, you know, the occasional revolt, there really isn't that much. I lose a bit of power here and there, but that's to be expected. But, uh, you know, at the cost of uh, anywhere between 10 and 20 percent, then, you know, that's per tech you get once. Let, let's assume from even, like, the Eastern Tech Group, that's, uh, ten, that's 60 per tech. Let's assume that, you know, you decide to westernize around tech 20. Uh, that's, you know, 600 points per thing. And I hardly think you're going to lose that many points. Um, a valid point is if you are not culturally and or religiously unified, then you're probably in trouble if you westernize. But that's part of the thing. You should probably make yourself culturally and religiously unified before westernization. It's not actually that hard. So, uh... You know, I recommend doing that before you westernize. But otherwise, yeah, this isn't as hard as people make it out to be. Really, the big problem is fucking paying this guy. 43 a friggin' month, man. Bleeding me dry. I tell ya. Ah, uh, well. Also, I have to start considering, now that I'm westernizing... Now that I'm westernizing, I have to ask... What are what's my next idea group gonna be? Because I'm gonna get there pretty freaking quick. Like, should I go maybe I don't know a uh, military idea? Maybe I should go economic idea to really uh, try and go towards what is it? National Bank? Yeah. Uh, ignore their demands. Whatever. Let the Holy Church be. I think we're already at a hundred percent patriarchal authority though. Yeah. I love it. Uh, you know, the minus three local revolt risk is great and really helps the westernization thing. Um, and of course, so our merchants are back. Yearly prestige. Pointless distractions. Uh, ten and men power is the world to me right now. So yeah, and just shit. I didn't want to collect some trade. I keep just auto clicking that button without thinking. Uh. Did I just... Did, did I... Please tell me I... Okay. Transfer trade power. I clicked on that correctly. Let's say... Anyway. Boostability. Minus one. There we go. Doing much better now. We still haven't actually started to westernize. Uh, in order to actually start westernizing, I believe you just need positive stability and then you gain your stability as a percentage. Westernization at one percent. Change of any... You gain your stability as a percentage each month, so. Recall merchant. Then we'll send him back out there to transfer trade power. Apparently we don't even transfer trade power with upstream otherwise. Um, hmm. Transfer the trade power. There we go. Cultural establishment resist westernization. Ignore them. I, I what? Okay. Seems legit. Speaking of which, here's the new world, everybody. Dat Castile. Yeah, Portugal's got a pretty decent uh, colonial empire going in France and. Great Britain will be competing over the uh, more northern parts, I suppose. What the hell are you? Livonian Order. Livonian Order in Iceland, everybody. Round of applause. Good job. Uh, but yeah, so I, I expect, you know, this actually looks like a pretty reasonable set of colonies here. We're going to have to see how this turns out. And the maximum monarch stat, I believe, is six. So, uh, no. You cannot have a uh, seven in a stat. Sorry. Hmm. 
Look for reliance, huh? Ooh, raise taxes even higher. Um, uh, neutral attitude. Damn, they're down a neutral attitude towards me. That kind of sucks. I was hoping to actually get an alliance with them, but uh, they changed their attitude. They've gone from friendly to neutral. I think it's because of this competing great power thing. I don't know. Seems like it. Alright, well, either way, we've uh, successfully completed our first leg of westernization. We are up to minus one stability with, relatively speaking, no problems so far. So, uh, I'm going to be ending this episode here. I would like to thank everybody for watching. As always, this has been your lovely, lovely host, Galvin, signing off.